OK, let's get back onto the couch with our counsellors. Claire Rowe, the child and adolescent psychologist, and Dr Tanvir Ahmed, psychiatrist. Great to talk to you both again. Uh, uh, I've got to go down the, the gender wars again, the gender confusion that is global now. Let's have a look at this uh, British politician. Her name is Christy Blackman. She's with the Scottish Nationalist Party, and she seems just a tad confused. Have a look. We've talked about biological sex a number of times. Not one person has been able to explain what biological sex was. The member over there gave a good stab at it, talking about XX and XY chromosomes. I have no idea what my chromosomes are. I have an assumption that they are probably XY, but I don't know. I've not got a clue what my, my chromosomes are. I've got a fair idea of what my genitals look like and how that compares to what other people's genitals look like. But if we're talking about biological sex and we are requiring that to be the definition, there needs to be an actual definition that everybody in this room can agree with. Um, and it is not the case that anybody has been able to provide a definition um, on this. Oh dear, here we are in 2023, Claire. Let's, we'll allow you to go first, given that you identify as a woman. Uh, how do we just clear this up and move on? Did you see the lady behind her? You need to watch that again and watch that lady. She's just like this, shaking her head. She's gold. She like, should we need to find that lady. <laughs> and, and good um, on you for calling her a lady. Well, yeah, sorry. I don't know oh, how no, she no, identifies. No, no, don't apologise. You're being normal. <laughs> but look, I, look, the only thing I want to say about this whole clip is we can laugh at it. Yes, it's hilarious. Apart from the fact that this is what goes on in governments around the world and probably in our government. Imagine the time wasting that's happening and we're just you know you're coming off tonight talking about the cost of living yeah. and this is what our paid politicians um are doing this is what they're debating and so, is it you know it's is it confusing yes, people but... is it confusing people i mean uh, tanvir well, we had the uh, the johns hopkins university definition yesterday they've changed their definition for a lesbian it's it's not a woman who's attracted to a woman anymore it's a non-man who's attracted to a non-man Oh, God. I mean, this is the depth of our cultural despair, Chris, where you just can't call black is black, white is white. I mean, it's such... It's a real sign of just a completely confused, declining society when, when it gets to these levels. What I find always fascinating about the transgender debate, it, it, it eleva elevates the subjective experience. You know, I identify as this. But then the solution is medical science physiologically changing you. So there's an absolute contradiction there, and, and she's pretty much highlighted it there where she's just saying, this is my subjective experience, it's my truth, uh, yet the, the answer is medical science. Yeah, I don't think any of us uh, complain about anybody identifying in any way, but it's when they demand that we accept something that is not physically reality that it's a problem. And, Claire, with this debate going on among adults, and it filters down through social media and, social, and, and, and I suppose, popular culture and everything, is it confusing kids, most importantly? Uh, it is confusing them. Can I just point out, Chris, just on that redefinition of a lesbian, and I, and I commented about this today online, um, the thing that makes me furious about that is that they didn't change the definition for a gay man. A gay man is still described as <laughs> a man. No explanation needed. But as a woman, we're reduced to, you know, the absence of maleness, like it's just the womanhood is gone, you know. Um, yeah. And it is confusing for kids. You know, I'm not, there's no way I want my kids known as kind of chest feeding non-males. No, that is so, so right. That's why this is so much a pro-woman agenda to fight back against this transgender agenda because they're saying, like, anyone can be a woman. Any bloke can be a woman if they want to. It's, 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 it's just, just so worrying. Um...